Does anybody remember seeing the Harding family here 40 years ago? Oh, well, no, maybe not 40 years ago, but you all have seen the Harding family. Okay, okay. Uh, we are so tickled that they were able to be here with us today. Uh, we've been trying to get them, and so I am so thankful that you all were able to be here. And Look at here, we've got two more big guys back here. And Let's see, now, what's his name? Gideon. Come here, Gideon. Gideon told me he is number five in the grandchildren, right? How old are you? Ten? Ten. So what grade does that mean you're in? Fifth grade. Okay, so you're learning all the hard stuff right now. No, no, you must be smart. Okay, okay, well, good deal. Well, get back there and get ready. Uh, but yes, this is the Harding family. Brother, where are you all from now? From Wise, Virginia. Okay, do we have anybody from Wise over here today? Oh, we got some people up here on the top of the hill. Okay, there you go. There you go. I was told to tell folks if anybody has to go home through Conway, you can't get through that. Well, you have to find another route. There's a big tree over the road over. Oh, okay. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> now, what's this one's name right here? Toby. Come here, Toby. Uh oh. Let's see, now how old are you? Eight. And that makes you in third grade? Yes. Third grader, all right. You have a girlfriend? No. Oh, good. <laughs> Keep it that way. <laughs> so you're gonna, are you gonna play this or your brother's gonna play it? You're gonna play it, all right. He's just sitting on it, okay, okay. Well, I am so glad to have you guys here today. Awesome. <laughs> uh oh, we've got somebody else wanting to play the cajon back here. <laughs> She's two, okay, and what is her name? Addie. Addie, you want to come up here a second? No. Can I come back there? No, okay, I'll just stay away from you with the microphone. He's right there. Right there, okay, that's the youngest one up there waving, okay. And sis, you told me you have how many grandkids? Fourteen grandkids. Step out here. Does she look old enough to have fourteen grandkids? Absolutely not. What pretty skin she has, yeah. <laughs> Brother, now are all these your children or this is uh this is a uh, looks like the mermaid here, Ariel. This is her <laughs> This is our baby daughter Abigail. Our oldest daughter lives in southern Mississippi. And she's the only one that's that's not with us. Yeah, we have we've got seven of our grandkids here today. We've got fourteen. No, we've got Okay, Tabitha has seven of her grandchildren. Tabitha okay. has seven right. kids, okay. <laughs> Tell me about this is Abigail and her husband, uh, Devin, next to her. Oh, sorry, messed that hair up. And uh, this is our, our baby, our, our son on the party and plan to get to our Donald III. Uh, my dad was Donald Sr. When we sung here 40, 41 years ago, it was the original Harding family, uh -huh. minus my oldest sister, who was our lead singer from 1973 till she got killed by a drunk driver December the 10th, 1980. But anyway, but when we sung here 40 years ago, uh, like I said, uh, my dad was Donald Sr., I'm Donald Jr., and our son is Donald the Third. I'm Donald the Third. And, uh, and when he was small, Folks that knew Dad and knew me and knew that we were both Donalds, they would come up 
And they would ask. They would say, what's his name? And I said, this is Donald III. And uh, one day somebody, you know, people just talk plain. Yes. And one day somebody said, out of all the names in the world, they said, why did you have to name him Donald III? And I just looked at them real serious. And I said, well, to be honest, we was just too poor. We couldn't afford a new name. So, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and then this is my wife and, and uh, uh, mother-in-law and grandmother of these. We would say hello to Brittany, Bubby's wife. She's back there with her CDs. Uh, she's waving, okay. And she's back there with uh, our last grandbaby, right? Uh, okay, I'm making sure. Our last grandbaby, Olivia, who is what? Nine? Almost a year old, Almost give or take. Okay. I'm not but again, we're thrilled to be here. Folks, uh, we... We don't sing together as a rule of thumb. Tammy and I, the kids all sing, our son pastors. Devin leads the singing, him and Abigail in, in, in their church. But me and Tammy, we travel and, and I, you know, I preach and we just sing. But when Brother Lester called or message, I don't remember, but anyway, and asked and I told him, I said, well, no, really, the Harding family don't sing anymore. We may get together one time a year for a special event. This will probably be our one time for this year. Well, we're glad. But, and, but I told him, I said, Brother, I will get in touch with the children and see what they allow. And they all said, yeah, they would love to. So here we are. We actually did something Saturday. We never did when we actually was a group. We actually practiced a little bit. So, so we did. <laughs> But we're going to do you a few songs today and, and let's have church. I understand somebody got saved yesterday. Man, I mean, you know what? That, that's worth everything right there. May we welcome the Harding family. Y'all, my voice is just now recovering. I, I preached four weeks, four weeks straight of revival, different churches and had allergies too. So my voice is pretty much gone. And we're going to start off with a song I've been singing for years, Dance Like David. But I, Tim, I want to make a shortened version. This is one of the kind of songs you can sing at 10 minutes long. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get it started and just do a little bit of this Dance Like David. Let the Spirit of the Lord lives in my heart. I will dance like David. Come on, if you're not ashamed of it, would you help us right now? And let's 
she slipped up that holy day. I said, oh, the Lord.
that used to be really popular over around Wise back in the early 70s a group called the Marshall Family. How I many y'all? Yeah, I figured it. But uh, David Marshall was kind of my mentor when I was a young boy. I guess he used to aggravate him to death when he'd come around. Little, you know, 12, 11, 12 year old following him around. But, uh, and asked him questions. But my older sister actually used to do this old Marshall Family song. We're going to try and and I've got something that the world didn't give me and the world can't take it away. Ain't that good, y'all? Yeah. So Devin, you did good. Just needed a wig, but you did good. All right. But Devin, tell them what you're going to sing. It's a brand new song. I uh, wrote this song. I wrote this song here just a, uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, it just comes from a place that when we go through life struggles, well, I know that we all face those, and we go through heartache and disappointment but we have a reason why that we can worship through the midnight hour of our life amen we have a reason why like paul and silas at the midnight hour the very darkest time of the night it says that they sing praise unto the lord and we can do that same thing because of who that jesus is to us amen i don't know about you but i'm glad that i have jesus in my life that's um that's what this song says it's called you're the reason Life begs questions I can't explain Like how do we end up here? 
Often circumstances cloud my view. Then life starts to on the stage and tell them they have a time limit. <laughs> I, I'm not a songwriter like Dad or Devin. God's given me a few songs over the years and uh, I've always said that if, if for nothing else, when God gives me a song, it's something normally that I'm going through or I went through. And even if it just helps one person, uh, that's what I'm thankful for. So this song right here, back in 2018, God gave me this song and... Uh, all I want you to get out of this is the story of the prodigal son. He went away and he squandered every bit of Come his on, inheritance. Come on. And through every bit of that, you know, he thought, I can't go back home. Maybe I can just go back and be as a hired servant. But you know what's awesome about that story? Is that his father was looking for him. His father was looking for him. He said, let's go and slaughter the fatty calf. Not because somebody's came back to work for me. But he said, we're going to have a feast because my son has come home. So I, I'm here today to tell you this. Even in the midst of this rain and 
and, and, and all this bad weather that we've had, I'm here to tell you this. It doesn't matter what you've done, where you've been, how far you may feel like you're gone. You are not too far from home. Just listen to the words there. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Eddie said he paid for that seat. Two more songs. All right. All right, we, we do that. All right, we do that. Listen, as, listen, as Gideon does you this. Y'all don't pay no attention to me and Eddie Street. We, we go, well, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I've been a fan. I, I've been a fan of Eddie's ever since I was a little boy. So I, I've really been a fan.
Jan moet dan een finish up with an acapella song. Uh, you know what's going to be. Again, a lot of you said you remember the Marshall family. They came out with this. And my oldest sister, used, we used to do this original Hardy family back in the 70s. Every time the Marshall family would come out with something, the ink wouldn't even be dry on their albums till the Hardy family would be singing it. But uh, they was a unknown group called the Isaacs. Some of you probably never heard of them, but they no. But they they came out with this song back a few years too. But uh, but listen to this one more song. I have a father who can. Yeah. I have a father. Again, it's just been a thrill and a joy after 40 years to be back here at the breaks. And again, like I said, this is a, about a once a year treat or event for the Harding family to get together. And if we'd had our oldest daughter, Tabitha, and their bunch here, it would have really been complete. But uh, listen as we do this one more acapella song. And uh, they was something real serious that I thought I was going to say, but it's done gone. So I was, I was carrying on with foolishness, and now it's gone. But, but listen to this song. I have a father who can. Amen. I cannot make a world and hold it in my hand. I cannot make the lightning flash across the land. And I cannot take a piece of clay and mold it into me. Oh, but I have a fall. Sweet, but as soon as Michael Combs came on the radio singing, I'll be back, 
Buddy would be on his feet rocking that crib saying, I'll be back. So I, I told him if he wanted me to, Eddie, I'd bring a crib over for him for when my <laughs> but church again. You know what? I've enjoyed this. And I pray somebody got something out of our little party today. But God bless y'all. Pray for the Harding family. Thank you. The Harding family. Didn't they do a good job? Yeah. Man, I've been trying to get them up.